Psalm 129. Here you've got a prophecy about the sufferings of Israel. The plowers plowed on my back. They made their furrows long. They afflicted me, but they did not prevail against me. So, it's talking about how, as it were, the back of the servant called Israel is whipped so deeply that there are like furrows ploughed down his back with all the skin ripped out. Yeah, this is exactly what happened to the Lord Jesus. And as you read through the Old Testament and you come to verses like this, which describe the sufferings of Israel as people, as the people of Israel, you find that they were all fulfilled, in essence, in the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ. He, for example, was whipped cruelly, and the plowers ploughed, as it were, upon his back. When the prophets say that God has given strong drink and bitter drink to Israel to drink, well, that's what Jesus drunk just as he was about to be crucified. Uh, and so on, just as he was about to die. All the prophecies of shame, of mockery, of nakedness, of abuse, which are stated about Israel, were fulfilled in Jesus. And so you see there the sense in which the Lord Jesus carried the judgment, the condemnation for our sin, though just for the unjust. Yes, we will die, but condemnation has been put on Jesus and he has carried that and experienced that, the just for the unjust. In that sense, as Paul rejoices in Romans, we are free from condemnation. We will not be condemned, we have been condemned, but the condemnation has been dealt with. And we of all people can rejoice that therefore I shall not be condemned, that I shall be saved by his amazing grace.